Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Crab Cakes, our first full-length, high-def video recipe. So here we go. We're going to take some saltine crackers, and we're going to crush them very fine. Now make sure you get the measurements on the site, because we don't want too much filler. A good crab cake is mostly all crab meat. We're going to crush up the saltines really fine. We're going to add some mayo, some Dijon mustard, some Worcestershire sauce, some Old Bay seasoning. Not New Bay, Old Bay. All right, throw that in there. One egg, and of course, some salt. So mix that up. That's called a slurry, which is basically just like a wet bread mixture. All right, but this time it's not bread, it's saltines. All right, there's our crab. I have one pound of beautiful Dungeness crab. So that white meat comes from the body. You can break that up a little bit with the tip of your fork, but the larger pieces, the claw meat, don't break that up. You want this as chunky and as crabby as possible. So that's the secret to a good crab cake mixture. Hardly any filler and big chunks of crab. So I'm gonna dump my crab in there and I'm gonna fold it into the slurry until all the pieces of crab are coated, but they're not all broken up. Like I said, that white shredded body meat, that can be broken up, that doesn't matter. But the larger chunks, try to keep those as whole as possible. Make sure the crab you're using is top-notch, fresh, sweet crab meat. Otherwise, they're not gonna be good. Don't make crab cakes with crappy crab. We're gonna cover that and refrigerate for at least an hour. All right, you want the mixture to set up a little bit. After an hour, these are gonna be ready to form. So shape it into a little patty, nice and thick, not too small, and just coat it in breadcrumbs on both sides. And this is what makes it so annoying. Because we have hardly any filler, these are really fragile. They will want to break apart. See that? But you cannot let the crab cake win. You must form it into a patty the best you can. As long as you can get it into the pan, you're good. Once it goes into the pan, the crust will actually hold it together, and then by the time the egg, that's the main binder in this, cooks, that's also going to hold it together. So they are very annoying to form, but once you do it, and once you can get them into the pan, you're going to be all set. We're going to cook these in some butter on medium heat, about four minutes aside, I'd say, three to four minutes. You want to make sure the heat goes up through, cooks the egg. This recipe just really shows off the crab. It's like all crab. You don't want to use any canned crab or subpar crab. It's just not worth it. So don't make this unless you got just really nice fresh crab on hand. And if you do, then use this recipe. You're going to love it with some lemon or some tartar sauce or whatever you put on your crab cakes. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the new high def camera. All the ingredients are on the site. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.